What's up guys, Nanamore here, and today I'm going to show you a little fun deck that I built. It's the Jaina deck. It goes a lot off of the um, random win deck. Basically, you do all cards that are random, but instead of being a priest, this time it's a mage. You're able to incorporate arcane missiles, flame cannon, and one of the most fun cards in the game, Unstable Portal. This thing basically gives you two chances just to win the game automatically. Summoning some very powerful legendaries for three mana less is just... It's ridiculous when that happens. But yeah, Young Priestess, just a good one drop, giving one health other minions. Knife Juggler, throw random knives. Mad Bombers, throw random bombs. Not Pagel for some random card draw. Mind Control Attack to steal some random minions. Ogre Brutes attack random enemies to strong minions, so I threw it in there. And hands Up a Candle is just hilarious if you have a full board. Pilot Treaders, so many random two drops is always really fun. Blink Tron, I love this card. It's just so funny to give different classes weapons and just summon a random weapon. It's like, oh, I need like five damage. Play Blink Tron. I got Arcanite Reaper. There we go. Bomb Lobbers, not that random, but it's still technically random. You can do like a 50 50. Just try to kill a minion. ETC, still the most fun card, just giving you random cards in the deck. I'm not, sorry, not random cards deck, but just like, one of three uh, three cards, which also, two of them have RNG on them. Uh, Matter Bombers, because who doesn't love more bombs? One step in Kodo, just to get rid of Pesky Minion. And then the two win, R RNG win conditions, Sylvanas and Ragnaros. Uh, despite just being a random deck, it's done really well for me. In fact, in a, I think it was a 10-man tournament, I ended up taking... F fourth, so the RNG was on my side that day. I don't want to mess up my ranking, so I'm going to go with casual, but it's really fun. Man. It's been a weird week. Last weekend I entered a, we had a big LAN over at my college, which had a bunch of different tournaments. There were Smash tournaments, Hearthstone, League of Legends, a bunch of different fine games like Skullgirls, Mortal Kombat X, and ended up being a 30 hour event, and that was just really fun. But let's talk about this deck, and how this priest is about to get out random. Oh, seems pretty good, let's keep all these cards, because turn 2 I can try to win the game, or just drop down my card draw. Ah. Not gonna play Arcane Missiles turn one, because I'm not a scrub lord. Break all this shit. Go away. Alright, um. So now for turn three, I'm just playing on that Pagel. Because it gives me another chance of drawing a card, and Unstable Portal could give me, like, a four drop. And then I can play that next turn as well. It's wild pyro. Oh, drew a card. Three up side. Do I just flame cannon or do I arcane missiles? Let's arcane missiles because I can maybe unstable portal as well. Sweet. Killed it and I can unstable portal. And there we go. I got a four drop of the four mana six six. Can't complain. <laughs> I have one game, just getting this card against Priests, because then they can't really remove it very well. They either use a spell, give me a 3-5, or just don't, and it kills them. And this, I think this is actually my third or fourth time getting Trogsor. I get them all the freaking time. But I don't actually have the card. I should get the card. I almost want a f I almost want a Flame Cannon Ping. Man, Nat Pagel doing work. But, we're just going to throw down this guy. Just to be a pain in the butt. Yep, 4 minus 6-6. Six, six. It's totally fair, Prophet. Don't worry about it. It's totally fair. Legitimate card. It took me much skill to summon Trogso right there. Ugh. So... Seems like a fairly standard pre-stack. It's probably gonna shatter death. Nope, Shrinkmeister. What 
Death Watch the hits and heal. Fair enough. Um, honestly, I think I'll just double flame cannon and hit him for six in the face because he can't really deal with this. And Young Priestess. Give her some health, baby. Or Pagel, who's been doing pretty good. He's around 2 or 3. Sweet. Give that thing extra health. Now my Trogs are staying alive longer than it should. And I can now just pretty much kill minions he summons with my Bottle or just give me a weapon and him one, too. Which is always risky, because sometimes you give him, like, Doom Hammer. Or, nope, he'll just quit. That's kind of how this deck can go if you... Unstable Portal Man, random chance at winning the game. Let's do another game, because that's too quick. But honestly, in this deck, or this game, that's basically what you want. I had perfect RNG, as far as I remember. Yeah, yeah, nothing missed. I didn't cast that much RNG, but now Pagel drew two out of three times, which is good. Arcane Missiles killed the 3-2. So... Based off of RG, this game should go bad. Against another mage. Hopefully, I can pull another Trogzor. I'm going second, so the young priestess isn't that good. And I'll just have Milgun this whole hand. And that's one problem with the young priestess. I might switch her out for something because it's like. Against certain classes like. Mage, it will. Yeah, mage, you're drew to rogue, you can't play it. Now, smart would be to probably pass or coin out Mad Bomber. But since we're going for random, I'm going to just throw out the Knife Juggler into Mad Bomber and just cause lots of random damage, damage next turn. Because what would be fun in playing safe? This game is a bit more fun if you just sit back and relax and don't worry about the outcome. And then in the end, it's easy to Frostbolt. No, for a big deal. I've got a follow-up play, another follow-up play. Taste random bombs. And, alright, better RNG. Two on him, one on me. I'll take it. Someone's a mad scientist. Now, do I... Yeah, I do arcane missiles. Just need just one to hit. Got the second, though. So throw it on Life Juggler and then kill it if it's Mirror Entity. It's not. In the face. Alright. So it's not duplicates either. So that's counter spell or Spellbender or Ice Block. Oh, double flame cannon. Okay. Fair enough. Uh Ogre Brute. Yeah, I'm trying to think about that secret beat. Maybe Ice Block. This is kind of looking like Freeze Mage, yeah. Well, oh, that's a perfect Mad Bomber. I'll take that perfect ARNG. Yeah, and smash him in the face. So yeah, these guys can control their RNG, so these guys are kind of cheating in the game, because there's, there's only one target, this attack isn't random. And it's not really random, it's a 50% chance, but... You know... Hmm. I guess we'll bling trong. What do we get? Assassin Blade. What does he get? I chest this. Alright. Aw oh, man. Hit. Sweet. And see if we can buff Bling Trong out of Flame Strike range. We do. Perfect. Although he has the weapon. So got ping, alright, doesn't have flame strike, that's good. Source Apprentice, I'm not sure what this deck is. Is this tempo? Fireball, alright. I guess this is like a tempo mage, and does one damage to me. Um, guess we will kill that. Throw an Ogre Brute, and just ping. No need to waste my minions early. Just to win this. I think this deck runs Flame Strike. If it's the deck I'm thinking about. But 
We'll see. Ragnar Rose. Alright, hit my face. Dang, it's a 4 4. I guess we'll just play my own. And win the game if that's ice block, if it hits in the face, or hits rag, and I'm in a good position. Alright, we won the game. Sweet. RNG is really being in my favor, although that game, it was all pretty much controlled. And again, only the arcane missiles against the mad scientist was the only real RNG that happened. Let's just finish off with one more, because those are fairly quick games. Yeah. This is just showing you, the, this is probably some of the most fun I have in Hearthstone, is just doing this, when the RNG works out. When it doesn't, it kind of sucks, but hey, we all have good luck sometimes. Jaina versus the Golden. Alright. Lots of goblins in this hand. Toss the shredder and the bomb. Uh shredder. D4, 2, 3. I will keep the shredder, it's good enough, minion. 2, 3, 4 then. Alright. Although, I wanted to try this, in case it doesn't work out, so we're going to go for it again. Because who doesn't like that? And just Dark Bomb, killing each other before I can do anything, ruining the fun, but oh well. Because now I don't kill my own minion. But I take... Alright, again, in my favor. One to my face, two to his. It's one less hero power that he can use. Harvest Golem. Is this type of zoo? Uh, I want one more mana. I can't really flame cannon ping that. And I'll attempt the face and ping. I can't really do anything this turn. If he lives alive, I can enhance to it, but that seems dumb. You want to hand so at least two minions. Yeah, I guess we're against the zoo deck. Dark bomb on the minion. Oh yeah, I thought he was about to dark bomb face. I was just be confused. Oh man. So uh, MCT could potentially hit in this game, and Matter Bomber can really clear this. If I can hit both of these down, then Matter Bomber would be insane. Voidwalker gonna prevent that. Or if you can hit the minion or face. Face, alright. So, I kind of want to hit. Eh, bombs aren't that good. Well, I can empty MTT right now. In the 4 4, I'll take that. And do I have flame cannon? I do. Eh, not the best target. But, next turn I can Matter Bomber and hopefully clear. If luck pertains. Or I can enhance some Kano. Because 3 minions is really good to enhance some Kano. Let's play. Another Voidwalker. And a Scarlet Crusader. Just go on face. Not really the Zoo style. I'm confused by this. Alright, and hands of a cano. Just fun. What do I get? <laughs> Alright, we got some taunts. So, stop that zoo. I'll ping that off. Send you into you. Send you into you. Send you into. <sighs> I doubt he runs Shadow Flame. I really doubt he runs Shadow Flame. I mean, kill the taunts, but. Or if he Hellfires, it's fine for me. Ah, silence. Alright. That's fine. Still has to use most things to get through that. 3 1 to live. You're 
interesting. Going for the trade. Alright, now he's deciding to trade because he's losing. But they still life taps. Ooh, do I greed this? I kind of want to? Double power overwhelming to be 10 damage. I don't think I can lose at this point. Eh. Nah. 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 Best animation in the game. And we get the non-RNG card. Alright, that's sad. But it was still random that we got it so we can use it. It's not cheating. I'm still playing to the gimmick, as Total Biscuit would say. Do 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 do. I don't know why. Every time I, I kind of obsess in where every time I get in the storm on a map, I destroy everything, and it's kind of just how I do it. Ooh. All right. Perfect zero. Knife hits this. Actually, never mind. Because I want to use that, but use on my mana. It's actually, it's not perfect anymore. Overthought. Had I thought I had more mana than I did. Oh well. He's still ten health. I've got nine damage. I've got enough damage. Oh, it doesn't get the one of the taunts. That's sad for him. And does he have a taunt to save him? Well, now he put himself in lethal, even though I didn't have it. And, or no, I did with ping. Alright, so, perfect sweep of the RNG deck. I highly recommend, if you just want to have some more fun in Hearthstone, you play this deck. It's just... You get so relaxed, it's kind of casual, but it still actually does well. Like, thing of, it's, it all kind of works together. Despite it being random. And then of course, always, random chance to win the game. So that's the RNG deck guys. Thank you for watching. My name's Natamore. I'll catch you next time.